In 2022, there were 32 school teams, 24 boys and 8 girls. A year later, it has grown to 48 teams, 32 and 16 in respective category. More so, there is representation from 8 of the 10 administrative regions. It has seen sponsorship from the oil giants swell the $13.9 million for the fourth edition of the tournament. The tournament kicks off on May 13th and concludes June 17th, with Saturdays being the main playing day at the NS Ground on Caifest Avenue, while the finals are slated for next door at the Ministry of Education Ground. Most of the speakers at the opening ceremony coined it as a way of developing youth for the future. I hope that the tournament will serve as a platform for young athletes to develop their talents, build lifelong friendships, and cultivate a sense of pride and achievement in their schools and communities. When I think back to my days at school and the part that team sports played in my life and that of my peers, I think of all the benefits it brought. Feelings of belonging to a team, being part of a shared goal, good times and experiences that helped to define who I am today. For us at ExxonMobil, establishing meaningful relationships that benefit communities are an integral part of our global social enhancement efforts. Our ongoing social investment in communities and directing our sponsorship in strategic areas are part of our efforts to make positive contributions in Guyana. It is the vision of the Ministry of Education that every child leaving the school system should, have, should leave with five competencies, one of which is the competence in sports. Every child leaving our school system must be able to play at least one sport. And I must say, no matter where we are in Guyana, you will find that almost everyone is crazy about football. We have seen the enthusiasm in the recently concluded Milo tournament, especially with the folks from Santa Rosa. It is good that this particular tournament, being developmental in nature, caters for both males and females, because we recognize that these children are indeed the future of sports in Guyana. This is a very exciting time for us in Guyana, exciting as it relates to sport. There is the building of several infrastructure in all of the regions, and that is why it's important too, as, as Ryan said that we need to make sure that we expand and not only look at Region 4 as being the mecca of sport. Um, Santa Rosa is, is, a, is a prime example of what can happen and what sport does for a community. And so that at the level of the National Sports Commission, we would want to embrace what you're doing and we would want to assist in what you're doing. We've already started by having our National Academies for 12 core sport dis disciplines. Teams who qualify to the quarterfinals will be given uniforms. The cash prizes, which go towards school grants, are $300,000 for first, $150,000 for second, $70,000 for third, and $50,000 for fourth, along with individual accolades. Last year, Charles Young secondary created history by winning both the boys' and girls' category. For the newsroom, Akim Green.